you know, Detroit, from what I can understand, is the inventor of techno music. You know, with Ke Kevin Saunderson, Derek May, Juan Atkins, and the, you know, the big three or four. Kevin Saunderson, big giant of a man. Always loved to see him play. The first time I saw him play, he played that Scat Brothers record, and I just lost my cool. Out of the Fab Four, my favorite DJ out of them. Is, this is the man that set the groove. If, if you play techno records, you are standing on the shoulders of the Detroit Giants. It's true. Derek May, the innovator. Strings of Life, one of the greatest records of all time. Uh, believes in Detroit, believes in the music, uh, no bullshit. Well, you'll see him up there with two CD players, two vinyl joints, and just having two and three at a time, just whipping the crowd into a frenzy. I love it. I be downtown like, mm, 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 And then the beats, oh my God. Juan Atkins, the originator. This is the cat that started it all for us here. Always, you can tell when you walk up on him, he's always thinking, and which makes sense considering the music that he makes. I, I traveled around the globe, but Detroit is the hub of everything, in my opinion, globally and universally. The music is, is incredible. Ah, Eddie Fox, Eddie flashing Fox, to get it right. Flashing, goodbye a kiss. <laughs> One of the sickest records that ever came out on Metroplex. Every time I go see him play, I'm dancing. It's been described as part of the music, it's been described as the sound of the machines going to rust. You could probably link the music, you can definitely link the music to even how the city was structured. You know, when you look at how the city, you know, the, the city itself was built around these industries that eventually abandoned us. We had to do something. We had to do something so the things that weren't meant to be instruments became instruments. The 808 wasn't meant to be a beat machine. It was something to accompany a guitar player. And we figured out how to make those things work. And turntables, which weren't supposed to be instruments, we turned them into instruments. So we had to take what was there like the guys from New York who birthed hip hop and they took these things that weren't supposed to be instruments and put them in places where they weren't supposed to be in places. You know, we ain't got a club, we're gonna set up on the corner. This was like one of the weapons that underground resistance used on a constant basis. Um, <laughs> weapons. Yes, Expand it's, on that. It's weapons. This is what we use. This is in the, the arsenal. Studio. This is the arsenal. These are the songs. These are the instruments that made the songs come out the way that they did. And it was always sort of depending on how well or not well somebody used it to make these records come the way that they came out. So that was the battle then. That was the battle. How awesome but, your, your sound. Well, we didn't have nothing but time to learn. You know. <laughs> This is the spot right here. Detroit Threads, uh, EST 1997, I believe. And um, this is just one of those places where, you know, it's kind of kept up musically with what's going on here. It's not just in the racks, it's in the walls, you know. Well, this right record right here is very important. Cybertron, Juan Atkins, 3070, Rick Davis. Um, this is a reprint, but at the same time, it also shows how, how important this record is. This record is the background for a lot of records that came 
afterwards, like your Miami-based stuff, your Atlanta-based stuff, you know, Shake What Your Mama Gave You by, by Poison Clan, uh, Missy Elliott's um, Lose Control. And this is the record that kicked it off. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, hear that Missy Elliott sample in there. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, and it that's part of what that is. And this this record is still important to this day. That's why I'm like really happy that they're reprinting on clear vinyl mm -hmm. and they have the lost song. Uh, Techno City on the flip side, which is also equally important. And this is fairly recent, but it's also a very showing thing about it, uh, the ghetto tech genre, which again was born here. Okay, Starsky and Clutch, um, Triple Gold EP, East to West. It's the record I'm gonna play for you. It's uh. My man Todd Osborne and one of my really closest homies, Brian Gillespie. And this is, again, ghetto tech, which is faster than what you've heard. But, you know, when we used to dance to a lot of those records, a lot of times because of the jits and the dances that we were coming up with in this area, we played those records mashed all the way to the floor and sometimes on 45 and <laughs> you know and so that's what ghetto tech became oh yeah and it's not just and it's not just about the, the speed of the trap or what's in it a lot of times it's about the atmospherics and what they make you feel like because it's just as simple as the bass line that goes along with the beat. You don't want it too complicated. And um, songs that make you feel like you're driving down 75, going towards downtown or even going away from downtown to get to your spot in X city, you know, on the outskirts of whatever. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> right. Simple bass line goes along with the groove. Mm -hmm. You know, you're just basically coming off of going on to the on ramp, getting past the dodge, dodging past the curves, going along, and then eventually you just feel it. The road underneath you. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple, but it's also complicated if you don't know the city, if you don't know the, the people that are within it and the reasons why they make the things that they make and the reason why they do the thing that they do. It's an extension, it's an, a modern day ex extension of the blues, if you will. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because it's, like I've been saying, it's not just about the notes that you play, it's why they are played. Why are you meant to feel these things that you are feeling? And that's what part of this music is it's meant to do. Step out of yourself. That's what it was made from, to step out of yourself. We made this music just because we had to step out of ourselves. 
And that's why I am as passionate about this music as I am. I'm, you bring up Detroit techno, we can go all day, we can go all week. This music right here, I wake up with it, I go to sleep with it. It's in my phone, it's in my head. This is a passion. DJ Dez, Psycho is rocking tonight. Desi, Good People, and Terrence Parker. They're my favorites because they cut over house music. And they also are not limited to by genre. They drop funk bombs regardless. I'm Bruce Bailey, I'm a DJ promoter out of Detroit. I'm a resident here at TV Bar. Me being one of the co-leaders or or providers of entertainment here in Detroit. I think that what's happening here is, is just the beginning of great things to come. I do think techno has had a huge influence. I think other countries have taken what we invented here in Detroit and kind of perfected it and put their own twang on it. I do think that there's other countries that can do it on their own, put their own style on it. And I don't want to say it's better, but again, we have influenced the techno scene a lot and nation, nationally and world, even worldwide, electronic music as a whole, not just techno, but house music, trance music, it's huge. And I think in the future, you can even hear a new, like, you know, radio hits these days. They're using a lot of electro elements. It's, you know, electronic music as a whole, not just techno, I think is going to be the future of music, period. Oh, my God, it take you, like, to another level. I love it. And then we all be like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's a unity music like everybody. I don't care what kind of music you hear. If you hear some techno, you just be like, oh, 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 I think I'm a mm, 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 mm. It make you move. It make you feel good. I love it. You want to put some on? Yes, it is fabulous. I think everybody should look at techno. I think everybody should listen to it. If you never, ever tried it, I'm going to need for you to go on YouTube. I'm going to need for you to do something. I already, I'm going to need for you to check it out because you're going to be like, boom. You need to clean your records, son. <laughs>